Welcome back to another render demo, how to draw video tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to draw the great Sphinx of Giza. So to begin, we will draw a shape in the center of our page and we'll do a horizontal line like this. And then we'll draw a tapered line from here. We'll get wider as we get to the base like that. And then we'll draw another parallel line horizontal to the bottom of your page. And over here, we'll draw a tapered line like that. Okay, I'm using a pencil so that we can go and erase some of these lines later. Now, for the head, we're gonna draw these shapes that come out, okay, from this, this is kind of like the neck point here. So we'll come out like this, and we'll have a little bit of a bump. And then over here, this line here will follow the, the path of this edge here. We'll come, kind of come up and then hook over like this and then back up okay and then we're going to end right around here somewhere up over here so this shape here will now have a curve to it like that and then down over here we will kind of hook like this has almost like a straight line similar to this edge here and then it'll curve over like that. So it's kind of a little funky shape. Okay. Now for the two paws that kind of extend out the two front legs, what we'll do here is we'll start with the front one and we're gonna draw a line that comes above this corner here, okay? So it kind of comes up like this, and it ends right about here, kind of like halfway almost. But it's low, we don't want it to end way up here, we want it to be kind of low, okay? So this is gonna kind of come out like that. And then as you get a little bit beyond this corner, you can kind of bend this down, like that. And then we're gonna have a line that comes kind of in this direction. Like that, so I'm just gonna rough a line in there. Now, this line that you did here, okay, we're gonna to try to follow a similar path and we're gonna end right about here, okay? So see this line here, we'll try to get about the same angle. And it doesn't have to be straight. Okay, there's like a little bit of a wave to it. But then over here, we'll kind of draw these little bumps like that. Okay, and then over here, you can go and connect this to the back of the, of the shape like that. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this shape here, okay? And we're gonna do the same kind of shape. Start right about here. And now this one, if you kept the line going out over here, it might be like a vanishing point right about here. So if you come over this way, this line will um, out a little bit. So you can see this line here, and if I hold this and tilt that, it's actually opening up. You can see that it's kind of fanning and opening up like that. Okay, so this will come out over here, and then around, right around here somewhere, and then it'll come down, and we'll kind of do the same. Now, we want to end the line right around here, so we'll do something like this, okay? So the next step is there's a little doorway that's over here. So we're gonna come right about here and we're gonna draw this like, like this doorway right over there. Okay, and then there's gonna be like a line that comes up and over and up 
a little bit, and then there's gonna be a line that comes like that over this way. <clears throat> now for the back, we will start up here, okay? And we'll create kind of these shapes that will come all the way down to right about here. So I would recommend putting this line down here, because now you can see we're gonna go from here to here, but we're gonna have like this step, that kind of comes like this, and then it goes up a little bit, and then that's gonna kind of taper at an angle like that. Okay, so it's a little bit of a bumpy, rocky you know, surface there. All right, now let's go up to the head part. And now we're gonna come inside here, and we're gonna make a curve shape like this. And then from this corner, come up like this and then from this edge right over here just going to be in front of the face so this is going to kind of come down and be the chin and hook and hook over like that now back over here this will, so this is our neck of our head so we'll come up and then we're gonna draw kind of like this ear that's inside of this whole shape here. It's inside of that shape, okay? Like that. And then there'll be the, top, the other part, the top of the head over there. Okay, now these little extensions here, these, these parts that kind of stick out a bit, what we'll do is we'll draw a couple lines like that, and we'll match imaginary lines across. We'll do something like that. And then we're going to start drawing some details in the face. So if we start with the nose shape, we're going to start roughly, you know, if this is the center of our head, if it's right about here, we're going to start over to the side a bit. And we're going to do a shape that kind of does this, like that. And then there's going to be like this mouth, shape like that. And then we'll do one eye over here and then we'll leave a little bit of space one eye width in between and then we'll do the other eye like that and then we can make the eyebrows just like that and then there'll be like this little bump at the top all right now let's go down back to these front paws here so what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna draw a line that kind of comes like this, and then it turns this way. Okay, and then I'm gonna have these three uh, toe shapes in here. So we're gonna do one, two, and then a third one like that. And then you can kind of see these are like something like that. And then over here, we can add a detail line like this, something that kind of connects over there. And then we'll go over here to this side and we'll do one over here, like this. And this is gonna be a wide one. And then over here, we'll do a second one We'll do a third one and then another one over there. Something like that. And then if you want to erase some lines. There we go. Okay, now in the front here, this is gonna be a little bit of a, it's not gonna be so straight. So we can go and add some like little bumps over here like that. And then we'll add some lines across like this, we can put a few over here, just like that, put some more up in here, we can add some details to where the ear is, like that, and then for the back leg over here, so right about this spot here, we can add this 
shape that kind of comes up like this. And then we can do a couple paw toes like that. And then from this back here, we'll do a line like that. And so, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna erase this shape here, because that's definitely not gonna be in my drawing. So we'll kind of erase that. Great Sphinx, and I'm gonna ink the Great Sphinx in, and then we'll go ahead and color it in. So there you go, we just finished drawing the Great Sphinx of Giza. Hopefully you enjoyed this video tutorial and you click that subscribe button down below and check out some of our other tutorials. So until next time, we will see you later. Bye-bye.